Good morning. My name is Pastor Evelyn Craighead, and I would like to welcome you to the Feeding House Ministries, a teaching ministry that focuses on your soul and your eternal destiny, a ministry that teaches the truth of God's word. And I was, this morning, I would like to talk to you about a pledge, responsibility, agreement, faithfulness, promise, a vow. Because all of this is commitment. And God's call to each of us is to be committed to him. And commitment is to commit with all your heart, with all your soul, yes. with all your mind, mm -hmm. with all your strength. And the Bible teaches us that our commitment to Christ must be complete mm -hmm. and that Christ will not accept any excuses. Amen. Jesus will always direct those who want to follow him, those who are committed to him. Yes. But he wants to make sure you count the cost mm -hmm. and set aside any conditions you might have for following and being committed to him. Amen. As God's son, Jesus doesn't hesitate for one moment to demand our complete loyalty and absolute commitment to him. Amen. Even family loyalty isn't to take priority over the demands of obedience and commitment to Christ. Amen. And his direct challenge forces us to ask ourselves about our priorities, mm -hmm. about our commitment in following him. Yes. Even though other loyalties compete for our attention, mm -hmm. the decision and commitment to follow Jesus should not be put off. Amen. Nothing should be placed above a total commitment to living for Christ. Mm -hmm. And to take with you this week, our commitment to God must be consistent. Amen. We must decide whether we will be committed to obeying God who has proven his trustworthiness to us mm -hmm. or whether we will obey the local little G gods, the false gods, which are only man-made idols mm -hmm. because it's easy to slip into a quiet rebellion, a quiet disobedience, yeah. going about our life our own way. Amen. But the time will come when you will have to choose who or what will control your life mm -hmm. who or what you're committed to Amen. and if you haven't chosen Christ mm -hmm. to be committed to then you've made the wrong choice Amen. but in taking a definite stand for the Lord you display your spiritual leadership you display that you're committed to the Lord Regardless of what others decide, mm -hmm. you've made a commitment to God and you're willing to set the example of living by that decision. Amen. And the way we live shows others the strength of our commitment to serving God. Mm -hmm. Just keep in mind that Christ committed himself to us first. Yes. While we were still sinners, mm -hmm. God sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to die for us, not because we were good enough, Amen. but because he loved us. Amen. Whether Whenever you feel uncertain about God's love for you, remember that he loved you even before you turned to him. Amen. Therefore, if he loved you when you were a rebel, mm -hmm. he can surely strengthen you now that you love him in return. And in loving him in return, you've committed your life to him. Amen. And your life commitments should be lifelong, mm -hmm. just as marriage is a lifetime commitment. Amen. To leave your spouse for another person Person may be legal, but in God's eyes, it's adultery just as it's spiritual adultery to leave or abandon God. Amen. As you think about marriage, remember that God intends it to be a permanent commitment, yes. but also commitment is the beginning of trusting God. Amen. We're to take the delight we're to take delight in the Lord and commit everything we have and do to him. Yes. And to be delighted in someone means to experience great pleasure and joy in his or her presence. Amen. But this happens only when we know the person well. Mm -hmm. Thus to delight in the Lord, we must know him better. Yes. And the only way to know him better is to be committed to him. Amen. And knowledge of God's great love for us will indeed give us delight. Amen. 
To commit everything to the Lord means entrusting our life, our family, our job, and our possessions into his control and guidance. To commit ourselves to the Lord means to trust him, believing that he can care for us better than we can care for ourselves. Yes. But we should also be willing to patiently wait for the Lord to mm. work out what's best for us. This is commitment. Amen. This is our pledge to the Lord, our responsibility, our duty, our promise, an agreement that we've made to be committed to the Lord. But our commitment to Christ must be complete. Yes. Our commitment to Christ must be consistent. Our commitment to Christ must be first. Mm. And our commitment to Christ must be a lifelong commitment, Amen. a lifetime commitment, a trusting commitment, yes. committing all that we are and all that we have to the Lord, committing and entrusting our life into his hands. Thus the great call of God is to commit our lives to him and to have the life we've always desired is to be committed to the Lord. Amen. Amen.